Hello, and welcome to the Code with Chris Q&A, where I take a couple of minutes to answer questions that you guys have. And today, I have another question that I get a lot in my email, and that is, I have an app idea, but I don't know where to get started. That's actually a very open-ended question, but I'll answer it the best I can. The first thing I want to consider is whether or not you should learn how to code yourself. Because learning a new skill like programming, especially if you haven't gotten any experience in it before, is quite daunting. It's not impossible and it can be fun. However, it's not something that you can spend a couple of hours a week and then expect to pick it up you know, in a month. It requires some serious dedication, just like if you're learning a new language or learning to pick up a new musical instrument. So the first thing I want you to consider is how much time you have and also how much is your time worth to you? So for example, a lot of business owners, uh, when they ask this question, they have an idea for an app for their business. I would ask them if it's actually worth their time to learn how to program and then, you know, to code this app themselves. And especially when you're first starting out, the apps will be simple. It will be, you know, amateur apps until you get better at it through time. So is it worth uh, all of that time investment to create an app that reflects that of a beginner? Or would it be more worth it for you to pay someone to create that app for you, um, for your business especially? And if you expect that app to bring in additional business, then it could be worth it. It could be more worth it to pay someone to do it rather than to learn it yourself, especially if you know, you're only learning it to build this one app and you have no intention of using the skill ever again. Uh, of course, there are lots of things to consider before you go hire someone to do it, like your budget, the added headache of having to manage a contractor or a freelancer. So yeah, it's not a decision to be taken lightly. However, if you have decided to learn it yourself, maybe you really want the skill or you want, um, you know, want a career change, or maybe you're just learning it as a hobby or to keep your skills sharp if you were a previous programmer in another language. Uh, so if that's the case, and you don't know where to start, there's tons of resources online for you to learn, in fact, for free. So Apple themselves provides the tool, Xcode, which you can download in the Mac App Store for free on your Mac. Um, and that is the tool, the official Apple tool to build your iOS apps. Uh, and next, in order to write code in that application, uh, you need to know Swift. So that's the name of the programming language and Apple provides a programming guide for that. So you can you can read that for free. Uh, it's a little technical in nature. So if you're an absolute beginner, you may not uh, understand it the first time through. But aside from that, there are tons of websites out there with tutorials and beginner series and stuff like that where you can get your feet wet for free. All you need is a Mac and that Xcode application, which is also free. Uh, and in fact, on my site, codewithchris.com, if you go up to the very top, start here, there's a link called start here. And on that page, you'll find uh, my beginner YouTube series, which will take you from knowing no programming at all to building a simple randomized dice app. And I think through that experience, you learn uh, basically how to create some interfaces, write some logic and swift code. Uh, you'll probably hit a few roadblocks and overcome them. So, you know, you'll learn how to overcome frustrations with learning programming. And at the end, you can decide whether or not you want to continue learning. It'll probably take you a couple of hours to get through. So yeah, to circle back, I have an app idea, but I don't know where to get started. So I think you should consider whether or not it's worth your time learning and what your goals are. And if you do decide to learn, then just very simply, you know, go to my website, codewithchris.com and click start here at the top or Google beginner tutorials on how to build iOS apps. And there are tons of resources from there. Once you get your feet wet, um, you're going to have questions on how to do this or how to do that. And then from there, let those questions lead how you learn. And I think the biggest thing of all is if you're learning, you need to set your own expectations to have some patience to learn a new skill because like I said, it's almost like learning a new language or learning a new musical instrument. You're not going to be very good at it in the beginning. It's going to be hard, might not be, you know, absolutely fun all the time. But if you stick with it, then it's definitely something that anyone can learn. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. 
If you like this segment and you find that it's really helpful, I would really appreciate it if you share it with your colleagues and friends and subscribe, like, rate, and follow. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.